welcome back to another vlog today is valentine's day which is so exciting i love valentine's day i love the month of love but let me tell y'all i woke up with sorry i'm trying to find a place to put my camera i woke up with like allergies out of control so i'm trying to find something to take i've got i need to organize my medicine cabinet see this is my issue let me just show y'all so this is this medicine cabinet which i already took out this and then this but i don't know i need to do like a whole organizational video on my channel very soon because i feel like all my cabinets are just like mumble jumbled like this but i need to find something to take i feel like kind of better right now but I don't know it's just like blowing my nose constantly sneezing constantly i probably sneezed like at least 20 times this morning already and i've only been up for like maybe 45 minutes 30 minutes okay this is sinus pe maximum strain so do, is this gonna make me drowsy because i don't want to be drowsy okay i'm just gonna take one pill because you take one every four hours but right now I'm going to make a coffee. I'm going to make a white chocolate mocha coffee with strawberry cream cold foam. And so I think a couple vlogs ago I went to Starbucks and I tried their Valentine's like strawberry cream cold foam. And so I want to try to recreate it at home. I don't have a recipe or anything that I'm following. I'm just going to wing it basically. So we'll see what I come up with. Okay, so I have some strawberries, fresh strawberries that I just got yesterday, and this is my little Splenda that I'm going to use. So I think I'm going to make a strawberry puree in my little blender cup. This comes with the Ninja blender, so instead of using the big one, I'm just going to use the small one like this. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to wash these strawberries, and then just cut a few up and put them in the blender. I'm not sure how many to do because i don't have a recipe but i think i'm maybe gonna do like four or five with a little tiny bit of this splendor okay so i've got five strawberries in here right now i'm gonna add some of this and maybe a little bit of water And then a dash of water, just a tiny bit. Okay, strawberry puree. That looks really good. Hopefully, it is good. Should we taste it and try it first? Mmm, that is good. Honestly, I could have used a dot more Splenda, maybe. Hold on. Maybe a dash more Splenda, but it's fine because there's going to be white mocha and stuff in the coffee. So I don't want this to be too, too sweet. So I have my shot of espresso. I put ice and then some of this white chocolate mocha in there. I'm also trying to make a TikTok at the same time. So I have this. I'm going to set that aside. And now I have my strawberry puree. And first I need some heavy whipping cream. So just regular heavy whipping cream. And I think you're supposed to do like part heavy whipping cream, part milk, but I don't have any milk. So I'm just gonna do some of the heavy cream. Also, if y'all don't follow me on TikTok, you definitely should. I post all the time over there. It's probably annoying, but definitely follow me on TikTok. And so now I'm just going to do a bit of the strawberry puree. Whoa. So we're going to add some of the white chocolate in there. Just a little dot to give it some sweetness. Okay, I'm about to multitask here because I don't want my ice to melt. But I'm just going to pour in some of this Starbucks white chocolate creamer. 
a little bit. I did some creamer and then I added some water because you would do that for an Americano and I don't have any milk, so. We're just working with what we have. Espresso. I'm so excited right now. This actually might be the cutest thing that I have ever made. It is so pretty. The color of the cold foam is so cute. It's the perfect pink. I haven't tried it yet, but let's go try it. Way too hype right now for coffee, but seriously, this is stunning and it is the perfect color of pink. So let's try it. I feel like I'm not gonna get any coffee on my first sip, but it's okay. Mm. Y'all, that is so good. Mm. I don't want to mix it. Mm. I just did something with that. This is my little lunch. It is avocado toast on an English muffin. And I put honey, lemon, and salt and pepper in the avocado. And it is literally my favorite lunch ever. I just went to the nail salon and I got my mustache and my unibrow waxed. I didn't get underneath here waxed just because my eyebrows are already pretty thin. I feel like they could just have like some tweezing and then it would be fine. But oh my goodness, y'all. I am like, it's throbbing. Low key, it's throbbing. And she got wax on my lip and then she took her cotton ball and like went over top of my lip and then the cotton ball hairs got stuck in the wax that was on my lip and i was like and then she left it there and i walked out and i was like there's something on my lip but anyway it looks really good i have a um she didn't get right there very good i have a waxer um at home that i got from amazon and the only reason why i didn't use it this time was because i like to use that as like a maintenance type thing because it doesn't get every hair perfectly like I would if I came to the nail salon to get it done. So I just kind of use that in between. I really was hoping that when I ordered it, it would be like the end all be all so I wouldn't have to come pay someone to do it. But honestly, it just doesn't get every hair, which I guess it's because their wax is like commercial grade wax or something. Maybe the wax isn't that good. Maybe that's what it is, but anyway. I got that done and I also got Richard some gifts for Valentine's Day. So I thought I would share with y'all what I'm going to give him today for Valentine's. So I got him, first of all, I'm just going to put this stuff in a little gift bag. So I got him a $10 McDonald's gift card. And then I got him some Reese's. Um, and then I got a little car air freshener. And some of the air fresheners honestly didn't smell good or they smelled kind of girly. And I didn't want to get him anything that obviously smelled girly and also didn't smell bad. But this one smells pretty good. So, auto, nowhere, nowhere, I don't know. So I got him that. And then I got him, this is the last thing I got. I got him this Old Spice pomade. And he, his hair is like very fine. And so he's been wanting to style it lately so it could have like a certain um, vibe to it. I don't really know the right word to say, but I saw online where you could get like sea salt spray or texturizing spray and spray in your hair and like actually style it. But I went to Walmart and I was not able to find styling spray for some reason. Maybe I didn't look good, but I could not find anything. So I ended up getting this Old Spice pomade, which was in the men's hair styling section. And it smells, 
really good. It smells just like Old Spice, obviously, but it looks like this. It's basically like a styling cream. So I figured he could just put that in his hands and kind of just like style his hair. And then I got him just some like cheap hairspray to spray in it. And this is um, unscented hairspray. So he wouldn't smell girly, you know? So anyway, I got him that. And then I'm gonna get home and write him like a little note or something. But yeah, we typically don't like buy really expensive stuff for Valentine's Day. We usually just do something that's like I'm thinking of you type thing. Just like cute little inexpensive things. I, I prefer that for Valentine's Day at least. Valentine's we like to keep it simple. And so I'm gonna box all that up when I get home and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I am officially home now. I am still red from my wax, but real quick, I'm gonna make some ranch dressing homemade. My brother's girlfriend, Emma, she sent me this recipe for homemade ranch dressing and I made it a couple weeks ago and I loved it. So I'm gonna make it again right now because I do have some salad stuff and I really need to make some ranch. So it's really easy. I'm gonna show y'all how I do it and what it calls for. For the homemade ranch, the only thing you have to have is, first of all, one cup of mayonnaise. This is gonna make quite a lot of range. You could probably half the recipe, but on Friday, my um, mom, Eleanor, my aunts, my grandma, they are gonna come over to the house and we are gonna have a little Valentine girls dinner. So I figured I could make this for that as well. Okay, and then we need one cup of buttermilk and I'm just hoping to pray in that I have enough left. Oops. Yep, it will be perfect. Okay, a cup of buttermilk. Need a whole pack of ranch dressing seasoning. And then I'm also gonna do a little bit of lemon juice gonna cut like this much of a lemon juice. I like zesty things, so. What it should be looking like. And then I'm just gonna mix it all up really, really well. Make sure it's not clumpy at all. I probably need to get a fork to do this to make sure it's really, really well mixed. But yeah, you can eat this probably immediately, but I'll put it in the fridge, use it throughout the week and um, I'm pretty sure it'll probably be good for maybe like two weeks, but I try to use it within the week. It only makes like this much. So for me, I can definitely use that within the week because I like to have it on salads and dip it and stuff, obviously. So yeah. Good morning, everyone. It is 9.30 in the morning. Let me just tell y'all. When I got my mustache waxed a couple days ago, I worked yesterday. So the last part of the vlog that I was filming was the day before yesterday. I got my mustache waxed and do y'all see this? Scratches, scabs, yeah. The lady at the nail salon really messed me up. She Okay, so first of all, when she was waxing me, I didn't even realize in the moment that it was gonna be like this and this has been here for two days um she literally laid the wax on my lip put the thing on top of it ripped it off and then i swear she like didn't take her time like she wasn't like i mean you do have to be forceful with that anyway but she i honestly didn't even feel like she looked at my lip or anything before she like placed the wax on there she was just like very rushed and rough and then she ripped it off and then put it back on, ripped it again, put it back on, ripped it again, like multiple times. I'm like, dang, do I have that much hair? But anyway, this is the current result of that and it honestly hurts. And my face is really dry, my hair is wet. I'm pale, I'm breaking out. But what else is new? We are at Milltown this morning because I need some joy in my life. <laughs> um, and then after this, I'm gonna go to my mom's house and get some labels printed for some shells that I have to make. I got three new orders over the past two days, so I need to get those made and shipped out today. Today's Friday, so I have to get those done today. And then tonight, we are having a little girl's dinner at my house with my mom, 
my grandma, my aunt, and Eleanor. So that should be very fun. I'm wearing my little blue leggings today. But yeah, that is the vibe of the day, vibe of the morning. And I also was gonna stop and try to get some flowers from maybe like Food Line or Walmart or something um, to get for the center of the table tonight when we do our little girls dinner. I think, yeah, on my Instagram, I posted last year um, our little tablescape of our Valentine's girls dinner. But you know what? This year we are not doing that. I'm gonna find it really quick and show y'all. But this year we're not doing all that. This was last year. Okay, I think it's hooked up to the Bluetooth. But it was really, really pretty. Candles, flowers, tool in the middle of the table, china. Like, it was just really cute. And I don't know about all that this year. I am going to go see if I can find some candles or something from Dollar Tree. And then see if I can find some flowers from Walmart. But I really want everything to be very simple, very low stress. I just want to, we're just going to do spaghetti and salad. So that's going to be at the end of the night. But my goal of the day, like I said, is to get those shelves done. So first things first, let's get a coffee. Mmm. Oh, this is the best thing, in my opinion, that they have at Milltown. It's the crazy medic, if anyone lives where I live. This is the best thing that they have on the menu. I don't even know what's in it, but it's just freaking good. So it is currently five o'clock and I am starting to make the spaghetti sauce. Eleanor's gonna bring the lettuce. We're gonna have spaghetti and salad tonight. So I just thought about a while ago that I didn't have this piece of furniture last year, so we had more room in my kitchen. So I think I'm gonna turn the table this way. And I typically have four chairs at the table, but tonight we need six. So I have two more chairs that hopefully it won't be as smushed if we do it this way. So yeah, and then my little tablescape thing that I used last year, I cannot find it anywhere. I know I have it here somewhere, but I can't find it. Um, I also have these roses that I'm going to put in the middle of the table and some candles possibly. So we will see how that goes. Let me actually look in this closet. That just dawned on me. I feel like it might be in here. That little tablescape. Nope. It's not. It used to be over there. Okay. I don't know where it's at, but yeah, just wanted to update you guys that saw well the meat's cooking and I'm about to move this table. I'm moving the table. Also, my meat is lucky taking forever. I don't know what's wrong with my oven. I mean my stove. And I need to change as well. Yes. Okay, I feel like we're gonna have much more room this way. Might even move it up like that further. Do this one to the side. Yeah. That piece of part, my house is just really small and there's not much room for all these extra chairs, especially now that we have that furniture, but it's okay. We will make it work. I'd be a little tight, but I don't know if it'll be better this way or the other way, honestly. I'm gonna have to sit here because like, I'll be the uncomfortable one. I will have to take one for the chain. So everybody just left probably about an hour ago and I went to 
Um, my bathroom took off my makeup and put some skincare on. So I obviously did not rub it in because I just wanted to sit there and soak. My face is breaking out so bad. I'm not sure what's going on. And this honestly like might not look too bad. But I've already done the whole Accutane journey. Like I've already done all that. And I'm just tired of it. Someone left a comment on my last video I think. And they were telling me what I should look into. And I'm definitely going to look into that to try to help. But I also have a dermatology appointment this coming up Wednesday. Thank Jesus. So I'm going to be going to that. I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah. Um, I also think a part of it is the fact that I don't have any sun like it's it's winter time so my skin usually does better in the summer when i am out in the sun a lot and also my psoriasis is flaring up horribly on my feet like it is so bad it's really painful to walk and i'm excited to go get that checked out as well so yeah anyway i don't know why i went on that tangent but um we had such a good time tonight at our little girls dinner um the flowers were so pretty the food was so good there's some flowers over there um the food was so good everybody it was just a vibe like we were just having so much fun and just it was good to get together and talk and everything just the girls because we never really get together with just the girls but i have to work tomorrow so i am about to go to bed i think i'm gonna sleep on the couch tonight i slept on the couch last night and it was very comfortable although my bed is also comfortable uh, tonight because I washed my sheets today and I have fresh sheets on my bed so I, I don't know I, I think I still might sleep on the couch just because I don't know sometimes I go through these like weird phases y'all know I have trouble falling asleep I've talked about that on my channel before but like I'll go through a period of time where like sleeping in my bed's great it's fine and then I'll go I'll hit like a period where I'm like I can't get comfortable I'm not like it's not even that I'm not sleepy I am sleepy but I can't fall asleep in the bed for some reason. And then I will make my specific little setup on my couch. It's a very specific setup. I have one little pillow here, my specific pillow here, this long pillow right here behind my back, and then this specific blanket with the fan on with the Stanley cup next to me. Very specific setup. Um, but I will fall asleep here. I'll, I'll end up just coming to the couch because I just get can't handle the bed anymore and i'll sleep so good on the couch then the next night so good on the couch and then like within the next night i'm like okay the couch is now hurting me and it's now like hard to sleep on so let me go back to the bed and then the cycle continues i don't know if anyone else has anything like that but yeah it's just like constantly in the cycle and last night i slept really good on the couch so i think i'm gonna try it again tonight because I want to get a good night's sleep so I can work tomorrow. I don't know why. I don't think I have like insomnia. Because at, at one point I was like, do I have insomnia? And I do think sometimes I do have like insomnia symptoms. But I don't think I have insomnia because this isn't something that happens all the time. But there are some times where like I legit cannot fall asleep. And I'll lay there for hours and hours with no phone, no computer, no TV. Like just, I will lay in the dark for hours and I just cannot fall asleep. So, but that's not like that all the time. It's weird. It's really weird. My sleep patterns are just, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to end off this vlog. I just went on a full tangent, but I just wanted to update y'all after the girls dinner. It was honestly, it was very good. Very fun. The table was so cute. I couldn't find the little tablescape thing that I used last year, but honestly, I liked it better this year because I had my little blue willow china plates and it just made it so cute with like the pink and the blue and yeah so everything went well just wanted to update y'all and thank you for watching this vlog I will see y'all in my next one